you're a public company and looking for a way to tell your story to millions of online investors. Welcome to Agoracom, North America's largest online investor relations firm. We deliver investor relations through the web's biggest sites and search engines to help you find new investors. In addition to those websites, over 1 million investors read over 95 million pages of news and information on Agoracom this year. Agoracom, where smart public companies and investors click. It's Wednesday, November 12th, and you're watching Agoracom TV. My name is Jim Heron. I'll be your host for today as George and Paul are in New York City for the Pipes Conference. Our first story comes from the OTCBB. It's Miscore Group. It trades on the symbol MIGL. It, uh, it reports significant net income sales growth in the third quarter. Miscore nearly doubled its top line in the third quarter, reporting net sales of $31.5 million as compared to net sales of $17.7 million in the third quarter of 2007. Its net income increased more than 600% to $471,000, or $0.04 cents per diluted share in the third quarter as compared to only $64,000 in the same period last year. For the nine months, Miscor has reported 81% increase in net sales to 91.7 million as compared to only 50.6 million for the first nine months last year. Um, its uh, net income last, uh, for the first nine months so far this year is 1.5 million as compared to a loss last year of 2.3 million. Significant results from Miscor Group this morning. OTCBB it trades under the symbol MIGL. Yesterday it traded at $2.60. 52-week high and low, $17.50 to $0.30. Cents. Our Canadian news today starts with Star Navigation, which announced a major agreement with Samri, a subsidiary of, a, uh, of China Aviation Corporation, to supply jointly branded, ver uh, jointly branded version of Star's TerraStar, which is a real-time monitoring to big commercial aircraft projects. Star Navigation trades on the Venture Exchange under the symbol SNA. They are an Agoracom client for full disclosure. Please do your own due diligence. The uh, Collaborative Framework Agreement outlines a working relationship between Samri and STAR with the objective of supplying a jointly branded version of STAR's TerraStar real-time monitoring system to Chinese original equipment manufacturers for installation on new and existing commercial passenger aircraft in China as part of a, as part of a big commercial aircraft project that they've got going on. STAR Navigation, again, trades on the Venture Exchange under the symbol uh, SNA, they last traded yesterday at 16.5 cents, 52 week range, 26 cents to 3 cents. They are an Agoracom client for full disclosure. Moving on, Melchior uh, drilling returns 60.27 grams per ton of gold over 1.8 meters. Melchior trades on the venture exchange on the symbol MKR. Uh, assay results for 26 out of the 48 drive and drill holes have been received to date, with the best intersections being its uh, hole. TW081013, where two intersections returned 60.27 grams per ton of gold over 1.8 meters, and a second interval returned 8.12 grams per ton of gold over 2.45 meters. Melchior traded yesterday at 6.5 cents, its 52 week range, 45 cents to 5 cents. They traded the venture exchange with the symbol MKR. Uh, moving on, Creston Molly, uh, which trades on the venture exchange with the symbol CMS. Uh, Creston Molly received final results from drilling at Red Hill Zone. Creston Molly is an Agoracom client for full disclosure. Please do your own due diligence on this one. The results of this drilling confirm the presence of a shallow high grade mo uh, Molly mineralization immediately south of the Creston Fault between sections 532700E and 533000E. Uh, which is 61.15 meters of 0.19% molly and 0.10% of copper in hole EC08-57 and 83.8 meters of 0.07% molly and 0.07% copper in hole EC08-058. Uh, the style of mineralization here is akin to that found within the bulk of Creston's uh, main zone deposit consisting of uh, molly bearing quartz stock wor uh, works hosted by a, um, a locratic uh, uh, protrazonic uh, granitoid, or Creston granite. Uh, yesterday, Molly uh, Creston Molly traded at 16.5 cents. Its 52-week range is 50 cents to 15 cents. And again, it trades on the venture exchange on the symbol CMS. They are an Agoracom client for full disclosure. Moving on, Trelawney uh, intersects gold values of up to 7.52 grams per ton of gold over 2.5 meters. Uh, the highlights here, it reports assay results that were received from the first five holes of an ongoing drilling program on its Dorset property. 
All holes uh, intersected on the Dorset B zone, and f all five holes returned significant gold mineralization. The highest value of this uh, was uh, 7.52 grams per ton of gold over a core length of 2.5 meters, which was intersected in drill hole DB0802. Uh, yesterday, Trelawney traded at one and a half cents. Its 52-week range is 12 cents to two cents, or one and a half cents actually, and uh, it trades under uh, the symbol TRR on the Venture Exchange. Next, we have Canadian Aero Mines. It released its at, uh, at can uh, drill results. Canadian Aero Mines trades on the Venture Exchange under the symbol CRO. Canadian Aero again is an Agoracom client. Please, uh, for full disclosure, and please do your own due diligence. It reported a nickel, copper, and uh, PGM assay results from its recently completed drilling program on the Eva Lake and Kawini uh, projects within the Atikokan group of projects. The highlight here is a drilling including a newly discovered zone of anomalous uh, copper PGM mineralization in holes KW0803 which had uh, 12.2 meters of 0.63 grams per ton of PGMs and uh, in hole KB0805 uh, which had 11.7 meters of 0.97 grams per ton of uh, PGMs. Uh, Canadian Aero traded yesterday at five and a half cents. Its uh, 52 week range is 57 cents to four cents. Again, it trades on the Venture Exchange on the symbol CRO. And uh, for full disclosure purposes, they are an Agoracom client. Our last story today is Detour Gold reports additional drills results from a phase two program on its 100% owned Detour Lake property in Ontario. Uh, Detour Gold uh, trades on the TSX under the symbol DGC and it reported assay results for an additional 35 holes totaling 15,281 meters from its phase two infill drilling program at the Detour Lake project in Northern Ontario. The results continue to indicate additional gold mineralization within and outside the $700 US pit shell. Um, today's results from the 12 holes in the core of the calcite zone are indicating additional gold mineralization within the $700 pit shell of importance to widen sections in a hanging wall we're encountering in hole DG08392 with 1.45 grams per ton over 50 meters and 1.94 grams per ton over 36 meters and 1.52 grams per ton over 61 meters. All of them were cut and uncut values are from are uh, cut and uncut values are the same for all three intervals. D2 Gold trades, again, on the TSX and the symbol DGC, traded yesterday at $4.20. Its 52-week range is $25.40 to $2.86. We have no halts for you today. Please check with uh, StockHalts.com for any halts that might come out during the day. Those are our news stories for today. Join us again tomorrow.